In this clip, we'll look at how to handle problems that say interest is being compounded semi-annually. So I'll do a problem over here first, and then I'll present a similar problem on this side, and you can try it on paper. Here's the problem I'll show you how to solve. If $400 is invested at 5% per year, compounded semi-annually, what is the total amount after six years? Since we're dealing with compound interest, I know I'm going to need the compound interest formula. And that looks like this. And if you recall, A, the first variable, is the amount of money we finish with after we're done the investing. P is the principal, or the amount that we start off with before the money begins to grow. Both of those are in dollars. Then we have I, which is the rate of growth for our money, and that's in a percent. And finally, that little exponent is n, and it's the number of times the money is compounded. And we'll get back to i and n in just a little bit, because there's some converting we'll have to do in this problem. Reading this problem, the first thing I see is $400 is invested. So that's the amount of money we start off with, which is going to be p, the principal. So I'll say p is equal to $400. The next number that I see is a rate. It's a percent, 5% per year. So that will be my I before I've done any converting on it. So I'll say I is equal to 5%. And we'll get back to this in step two. N is a tricky variable sometimes. That is the number of compounding periods. To figure that out, I need to look at this term, semi-annually. Semi-annually means I'm compounding two times in a year, because annually means once per year, and semi means half, just like semicircle is half of a circle. So I'm compounding every six months or half of a year. So two times a year for six years. So my n, the compounding periods, will be two per year, and I have six of those years, which is 12. There, let's move on to step two. Remember when I said you could think of the word semi as half of something? Well, that's what we're going to do in step two. We're going to take our interest rate, which is a percent, and divide it by two. Because the interest rate is given per year, but we need to figure out what the interest rate is per compounding period. So in a semi-annual question, we need to divide it by two. So 5% divided by 2 is 2.5%. Now to use that in my interest formula, I need to convert it to decimal. So I'll do that here. I'll drop the percent sign, and I'm going to slide this decimal place two places to the left. And that's just dividing the number by 100. So I get 0 0.025. And that number is all ready to go in my formula, which is the next step. Now I just use the formula and plug in the values that I know. My principal was P is 400. And I have 1 plus I, which I converted in step 2 to 0 0.025. You'll remember that I took the percent, divided it by 2, and then converted it to decimal. And finally, my n, I found the compounding periods. Well, there's 12 of those. There. Next, I'll just simplify this a little bit by adding the 1 and the 0 0.025 before I do any further calculations. So that's going to be 1.025 to the exponent 12. For the last step, I'm going to go ahead and use the calculator. I'll do 1.025 to the exponent 12 take that answer and multiply it by 400. So 1.025 to the exponent, I need this x to the y button, 12, and I get an answer of 1.34, and I'll times it by 400 to give me an answer of $537.96. We'll do some rounding. five hundred and thirty seven dollars and ninety six cents 
That is my final answer. So we started out with $400, and after six years, we ended up with $537.96. Not a bad little investment. And I'll make sure to remember my concluding statement, which reads like this. Therefore, the total amount is $537.96. And there you go. There's my problem solved. All right. So get your paper and pencil and calculator ready, because here is your practice problem. If $1,000 is invested at 6% per year, compounded semi-annually, what is the total amount after five years? Okay, try that one now using the same steps I've shown you over here. And your solution is $1,343.92. We got that by listing our givens, P, I, and N, which was 10. Then we converted 6% into 2, which is very important for any semi-annual question. And then we converted that into a decimal so we could use it right here in the formula, plugging in our P, I, and N, and solving. $1,343.92.